What are you going with here? Going with a new PD2. Oh, huge skip. Caught the base of the tree. Pretty fortunate there. Same line as Dan's. A little more pace, a little more hyzer. You get that good skip into a good location. Oh, my uh, gosh. Confidence. And he knew that so early into the flight. Disc was barely out of his hand as he started his walk. What? Wow. It's like the most gangster putt I've ever seen hit. It was like he knew all of that was going to take place. Oh, as we're back at it with the step putt, second year in a row. Not to be big putted. It's only 678 feet. No need to get too aggressive. Let's see what Ezra does. Laser beam. Oh, wow. my. Huge drive. So that's like 30, 40 feet past yours. I think he's going to be inside 300 feet from there. Fantastic. 52. I'm really trying to pound it into the hill. Ooh. Yeah, that's a little, a little local knowledge that you displayed there. Throw it past the basket, knowing that you can't go too far past. Oh my gosh, super committed shot, a little bit of hyzer flip, he trusted that thing to late turn right back at the basket. And you like that same line, this looks the best possibly. Oh yeah. The gravel really allows the disc to get that straight skip, not having to worry about the water as much. Ooh. Oh, he knew it. Ew, you guys are some walking in, putting geniuses right now. Let's see if Philo can back that up. Oh, he can. That's one of the parts of Philo's game that I find so amazing is his consistency on the putting green week in, week out. Doesn't matter how he's throwing it. He's going to make himself six to ten of these things around. Seems like literally every single round. Yeah. He's got it down to a science. And he's a great teacher as well. If you haven't gone online and listened to or seen a Philo demo. He's a fantastic instructor of disc golf to make these guys have to think about it. But, ooh. That's a smash right there. I mean, that's that's all of 400 feet plus the even, elevation. I don't even know what to say about that. That is an insane sidearm. Dan Schlitter, that was huge. I like this play the most. Look at that thing fight up the hill. Gavin Rathbun, you filthy man. 468 up the hill? Landed right by the A pin. I'm guessing full mess around from this guy. He's got a good angle. Oh, yeah. Bangs that thing home. Confident look. If that doesn't hit the basket, that's out of bounds for sure. Absolutely. What are you going with here? Uh, DD3. Inside? Nope. I'm bringing them around the outside. Ooh. I love that. Anything inside circle one's great here. There's the right side fairway. Oh, absolutely lacing the right side fairway. Dude, I didn't even know that was a line. Amazing shot from Ezra. Not bringing the water into play. And going back to the ringer here. I think it's just flipping up nice for him. 
Wow. Perfect. Wow. He's got that dialed. And he's going to continue that hot round. Just outside the circle. To the short basket. Oh, so confident. No worries. Great putt from Philo. You can see some slight irritation there. He just knows he can be playing better. Looks like Dan going a little faster than you guys. That's his new for sure. Great shot. Getting all the way down there. That'll make that upshot pretty easy. This hole only clocking in at 640. So if you get anything over 400 off the tee, you've made this hole really easy. Ooh, that's how it's done. Spinning in the mulch under the basket. Looks cool with the nice Bruce Lee die. <laughs> this comes out fast. Dude, that's what five. five <laughs> <hundred> <laughs> feet on a straight hyzer. Must be nice. When it's hyzered like Philo's been bringing him in. Ooh, nice. Corner pocket. Nice one from him. Every single birdie he's made, he's had to scrap for. Oh, absolutely. Thank you to the disc barn for another sick replay. Oh, yeah. Sliding in corner pocket, just like you said. It's like Philo. Back going to the to Draco. That. Draco, start hooking up. Come on. More. All right, careful, Greg. Best part, man. <laughs> that is precisely... He that yeah. is precisely what it is, Philo. About a circle's edge death putt. Looks like Dan's looking for more. Ooh. What a checkup. Number nine's going to be simple from there, my guy. Great shot. But if he stayed in the middle, it should be a fairly simple par from there. This looks great. Oh, this is primo oh, the right here. Giving it to him. Didn't even have to watch it finish. That's sick. Right next to Dan, it looked like. Definitely and forced you to bring the disc right to left to start. Get around. Oh, my goodness. You don't see very many park jobs on that hole. This, this hole, that is fantastic. It was a lawn dart. Usually it hits a little something in the trees, but that's the danger of not. Smashing putts for the fans, bro. Nothing like it. You're not smiling right there, but on the inside, you're probably a little bit of smiles. Got we a watch sweet that. this barn replay here. <laughs> yeah. That's a huge putt, man. Yeah, you guys have already hit 100 plus foot of putts. And there's one more. Absolute clinic on this hole. For the hundred people watching, they all should be better at putting after that. No Hopefully. excuses for missing putts if you're in the crowd watching that go down. Philo showing off his cool little wood mini. Love that high extension. Yep, that's where the Mach X will catch every time. He'll have a vastly uphill putt. He would have missed that tree. He's looking at probably six feet away. Oh, this is sick from Philo. Go in. <laughs> Nasty little flex line from him. He wanted it. Everybody wanted it. Oh, yeah. That would have been exciting. Can't argue with the tap in the finish, though. one of those today we'll see how these players can negotiate that hill first up Matt Bell this dude when he's playing confidently is really one of the scrappiest and best players in the game I believe it I saw him win at Delaware 
firsthand than at Hartford. Talking about putting world champions, I believe he is one. That he is, and that thing's all the way down there. Just really a couple hundred start. feet out. Both Dan and Terry choosing a zone. And Terry. Also out nice. wide. Not wasting Hold any up. time. He plays his best disc golf when the clouds still crap clapping from the Absolutely. If the last person shot still in the air, he was probably throwing his best shot. That's a bomb from yeah, Brody. Big. Way past everybody else on the card. Making his second shot substantially easier. Gotta love this camera angle. It's so unique. Oh, yeah. That's a sick shot from Brody. Late turning mid range. One of the prettier shots in disc golf, I think. One of my favorite. There That's we go, cool. Terry. Terry. Couple in a row in the arena of fans. All right, here's what Brody's left with. Let's see which window he goes with. Oh, that's gorgeous, man. That's awesome. He took his run up from right to left, making going up the hill a little easier. One thing to note is that it is definitely a little bit more humid and hot today. See out it? there. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a rock. Riding the line. Your heart doesn't beat right for like a tooth. Or three count when it's headed that direction. Not a chance. Ooh. Great Knew it putt. right out of the hand. What a great up and down. You're basically playing the hole from an even trickier position the way that he did it. Absolutely. Having to throw a standstill sidearm, bunch of trees around your body. Get a sweet replay from the disc barn. Make sure to check them out. There's GK Pro Hats for sale. It's the disbarn.com. It's hard to get to a position. That disc is so stable. Are you kidding me? I thought that was in so much trouble out of his hand. He wrenched it over. Had to be a new OS, right? Yeah. Oh, through oh, the tree. Split some. Nasty. That's awesome to see. It is some local love out there. And they knew it too, I think. Dan going with that big forehand. Oh, that has a move. Wow. Wow, he made it around the Mando. That's so large. I have never seen a drive further than that from up there. Beautiful shot from Matt Bell. You can't play it any better. Nothing but mulch. That's how you want to put on this one. Mm, that's how you do it. Get your birdie on this one and get out of here. That's perfectly played. Don't mess around. This is an upshot hole. We all got to have this one. And that's a super technical upshot there. Definitely played perfectly. That's the only trouble on this hole is the left side there. Mm. I love this angle too. Such a beautiful flight. Yeah, confidently release that thing high left and let it drift back right into the fairway. Beautiful sh set of shots from this card. Not bringing Obi into play at all. That was a pure hyzer at 485. Pretty big. That's large. Looks like a little bit of downwind for these guys right now, too. Dan going back to a ringer. He has got that thing dialed. Look at that touch. Wow. <laughs> can't miss it from there, Luke. No, you can't. Landed that thing within a foot of where he wanted to. Flick roller going straight at the creek. 
Oh, jumps between those. This is looking awesome. Oh, he's got a, a track star hurdler for a disc. Great time to use that one. <laughs> See if Terry can make the adjustment, hang this thing out even further right. He does. That looks great. Sit. Oh, oh yeah, I'm that's sure gonna check up. Beautiful shot from him. Made the adjustment on Matt. Still possible for sure. If that needs a hurry. I have a feeling it will. Oh, just perfect. Oh yeah. Wow. That bow. Such a scrappy player. He's never out of it. We've seen it time and time again. When you think he's taking the bogey, he'll just bang another wow. one. Thank you to the Disc Barn for sponsoring these replays. Go check him out at thediscbarn.com. Wow, he's Matt excited Bell. about that one. These players dealing with some left to right wind now, left to right down, which is going to make getting the disc back left a little bit trickier. Needs a skip. Oh, it gets one. Ooh. That is so nice from Terry. These get awesome kicks from over here. Yeah. Yep. Rolled into the tier area. That's perfect. That'll be a drop in for me. Well, that's about as bad as you can do in the sawed off, and still you're left with 40 feet. Terry just right up and throwing perfectly. <laughs> wow. The best fast player alive, Terry Roethlisberger. Just a true gem. Less he thinks, the better the throw is. Yes. Come on, buddy. That putt gets there so quick, man. He didn't mess around. You love when your putter looks at you in the basket. Sticks it in the heart. Oh. oh this be good. Looks so good. Perfectly played. Spinning the mulch. Doing that one for America. Sick die on that thing, Terry. Representing for the U.S. of A. And this disc, I'm guessing, a little understable in its going places. He has such a smooth swing, but it produces so much power. Yeah. Big kids throw far. Come out just a little bit. Wow. Didn't we see Terry do this exact same thing yesterday? I feel like I think did. he hit the rock yesterday and yeah. it was turning a little more and the rock actually saved him yesterday. That one Obi wasn't even in play. Fantastic shot from Terry. He just wax oh on gosh. that thing. Again. If we have any this craft throwers here. Try to guess what that disc is. It's unbelievable what I found out it was today. Yeah, we called it a Nuke OS yesterday. We were incorrect. I called it an extreme as well. Just Oh, oh. wow. Birdie one's an out of play for him. Oh my gosh. He is throwing that black zone extremely well this round. Oh, that is big. Yeah, it looked like there was some wind at play as well on that putt. Straight shot plays so well. I can't lie, I'm a huge fan of trying to ace this one. <laughs> we did see it get aced yesterday. This is a line right here. Little so he's low. Missed the rock. Perfect. He's got to stay focused, though. Definitely. He's still plenty in it. Put it in the past and move on to the next one. As is Matt Bell. If he can. 
birdie out. Maybe only miss one or two. Sick replay from the disc barn. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Matt Bell, for constantly giving us slow motion replays of dank putts. Going back to the 4th of July disc. Coming in so oh, nice. Wow. And the tree checkup. I think that might have even been closer without the tree. It was going to stop right there either way. Connor going back to the putter he threw last hole. Such a similar line. Oh my Such a God. similar result. Wow. I actually saw that live. Couldn't see where it finished until I heard the pole hit. Just inside. He really thought about this one. Dude, you have to think about this one. That or not think about it. Walk up and bang it. Fist pumping it in. Right here is when I found out that uh, Dan is really putting together a round. He was getting a lot of local love after that. He's got something that he possibly could run, but you got to have a wild hair to do so. This hole is so tough just because Give the basket skip. is almost directly left out of the gap. Well, that's a great result there from Terry. Just inside the circle? Yeah. Anything around circle's edge, you've thrown a, a fantastic shot, made it through the gap, and gotten the skip left. Huge putt from Terry, keeping the pressure on Dan. Wow, that's it, Dan? Just absolutely perfectly played. Cruising down that hill. For a second, I did not think that was the tree. Looked like the basket. Matt going lower. This is oh, an this adjustment. This is skip. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Gosh, on the lock for Matt Bell. Didn't allow the wind to get underneath the flight plate and move it like the other guys. Oh, Ooh. as you say it. I guess everybody does. Yeah. My, my bad. It's just so easy. They have to hike up to the basket. Oh, another disc barn replay here from Chandler. What a beautiful putt. And here we go. Another look in at Dan on the tee of 16. This is awesome that we're getting an insight to his round. This is the most crucial tee shot he has left. And he couldn't have piped nice. it better. That's perfect. Left with this, you can see the rocks ahead of him. He'll need to be 40 feet right of those, and then another 30 feet past them. Oh, this looks awesome. Drop. Hmm, not much from the crowd there just over the basket this is putting back at it oh, that was an awesome shot sick sick approach from him Ooh. he is just seriously on fire right now dude and that he crowd is. is no joke illinois came out today to support disc golf and it's just been a pleasure all right chandler has to birdie out he knows it well that's a good start to doing so Oh, yeah. Wow, even got a little oh, forward yeah. skip. Another 30 feet past those guys. Yes. I said 20-footer. Maybe that was a Matt Bell 12-footer. Yeah, that looked too easy. He cashes it in from 50 feet. Wow. Oh, he knew it. To win this thing, he just needs to focus up. Here's another Dan. look in. Dan could almost put the nail in the coffin with the birdie here. Oh. Crazy left to right downwind on this hole, not letting discs really fly that well. So Dan ending up 50 feet short, maybe more of this basket. This would be a huge putt given the circumstances. He was all over these round one.
He put it on such a good line. That looks better from Chandler. Keep going. It's gotta gotta keep pushing. This is hooking up a little early. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay. just early of going in. I'm two feet early. I told you. <laughs> oh my gosh, what an effort from him. Harry must have this. Wow. That of, is giant. Out of all the putts that have hit and not stayed for Terry, that one there, as crucial as any, one more time. Oh, yeah. He deserved that one to go in. He really did. Big fist pump from Terry, tying it back up with Dan. They really love that we have a tournament of this size in our area. Oh my gosh, look at that. Dan goes wow. over the branch. Wow. And it stays right there. And this, this is, is it right here. Giant putt. Pressure's on him. Wow. That is so sick, man. I got goosebumps I watching that. I have goosebumps that. right now. In front of the home crowd. What a last round. It was such a pleasure to be able to play with you today, Dan. Way to never give up out there, man. Wow. Hasn't gotten the best of luck. Now Terry must have it. Just saw Dan Birdie to go one up. Miss him. Miss them. Oh. oh my. Dan stays up top with the ledge. I mean, it was basically the exact same shot that Chandler threw a second ago and there's 40 feet of difference what a clutch moment for Terry there unbelievable he'll have that to put it in a playoff somebody say playoffs 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 let's see if Maddie B can finish strong here stay high to win the basket Ooh. oh Betty James on the way back Oh, we've been waiting to see one of those since they put these in. Okay, we got wow. the slow-mo replay, too. Let's just watch this. What a way to finish that could have been. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Wow. Oh. That putt was actually to get a solo podium finish. Third place for Chandler. Nasty finishing putt from him. Give him the replay. Played Thank you, great Disbarn. All weekend had the most birdies in the field. Wow. Led the field in birdies this week. That's what happens when you're making those you putts all weekend. Wow. We have a playoff. The localest of locals, sponsored by Delwood. He runs so many tournaments in Illinois. He does so much for Illinois disc golf. Really couldn't pick a better person. There he is right there. Dan Schlitter, hole one is where we're going for this playoff, and it is lined in spectators. All the way down to the bottom of the hill right now. Dan Schlitter! Uh, what a moment for these guys. Couple exciting weekends of disc golf. Just trying to get himself into the moment. Oh, oh looks awesome. Beauty. Missed that one. Oh, he loved it right away. He didn't even care how it finished. What Dead a shot. Fairway, dude. Dead cut. Oh, no better disc for this scenario. Pulling out the red, white, and blue. Ten down, Terry. Actually, uh, that last round was a ten down as well. Was it? Yes, it was. Dirty dog. Little needs... inside. No. Oh, terrible kick. That too. tree is a half an inch wide. Needs to be careful with the hillside. 
This could seal it up right here if he puts this thing close. Oh, absolutely. If this just goes inbounds, Terry's going to have a lot of pressure on him. How's the reaction going to be off the hill? Oh, wow. Perfect. He's looking at a 22-footer. Stays inbounds. Circle one. Terry's got to feel like he needs to throw this in. Oh, no. Trying to take it just underneath that oh. branch. And now all Dan needs to do is lay this thing up. And that will do it. Wow. A mere, a mere formality for Dan now. Holy cow. Just put that thing under the basket, young man. And tap yourself in a win. Has he won this event before? He has. He definitely has. He has never won an A tier. Okay. This is his first. It happens to be a DGPT Silver Series, and I honestly don't think anyone else deserves it more. This is one of the nicest guys I've ever met. I've known him since I started playing disc golf. So incredible. Let's go, Dan! This man works a full time job. Let's go! Oh, you're <laughs> Love his energy. All right, we're here with your 2021 Clash of the Canyons champion, Dan Schlitter. Dan, how do you feel right now? Yeah, the man! Unbelievable. Really hard to describe. Um, you know, coming into this tournament, yeah, I, I, I should say my entire professional career, all I wanted to do was make an a A-tier a lead card. Uh, I was so happy to finally do that after the first day. Um, shout out to Sean and everyone at Delwood for believing in me and putting me on the feature card. Uh, I felt like I lived up to the pressure really well. Uh, rougher day yesterday, but uh, I just coming back today, knowing I had what it takes, knowing I can score on every single hole on this course. Um, it's just a matter of putting your nose down to the brimstone and, and, and getting after it. And, when you have as great of card mates as, you have, as I have had all weekend, it makes it feel like an absolute casual round, just a walk in the park with the boys, and I feel like the pressure melts away. So um, I'll remember this for the rest of my life. For sure. yeah, yeah. Getting it done from the chase card with the hometown crowd. Is this your biggest win to date, and where do you take that momentum? This is my biggest win to date, and it's not even close. Um, this is monumental for me. Um, I'm going to take this forward. I've got a packed schedule for the rest of the year, um, and I'm going to ride that momentum. And it's just going to be a little nicer to know that uh, Schlitter is going to be a little more of a household name after this weekend. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Nice win. Any other shout outs? Absolutely. Uh, first and foremost, I have to give a shout out to Delwood Disc Golf. Uh, they put on the event, the crew here. It, it, it was a treat to hear from all the traveling professionals that do tour this country to just say how amazing the volunteer crew is, the course looked, and just the structure of the event in its own. Um, I take big pride in that. So we have, a, we have an amazing community and a wonderful team here. So big shout out to Team Delwood and Delwood Disc Golf. Um, and also shout out to Discraft Disc Golf. They've been with me for four years now, and I don't want to go anywhere else. They're fantastic, and I can't give them enough uh, shout outs to, for what they do for me. So thank you to Discraft, thank you to Delwood, and uh, Always thank you to my card mates, everyone who put on the event, my parents at home for watching and supporting. Yeah. I love you guys. And uh, yeah. that's, uh, I think that's all of them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.